I like to laugh at things we do in healthcare. So how many of you have men in your lives? It can be children, cousins, husbands. Anybody? All right. I'm glad I was worried for a minute. So how many of them who are older, say 40 plus, have complained that they don't want to have a digital rectal exam? <laughs> I mean, you don't have to raise your hand. You could just blink. <laughs> I hear men all the time saying, oh, I, I'm not having that prostate exam because somebody's going to want to put their finger up my behind. I said, really? That's what you're worried about? He said, yeah, women don't have to go through anything like that. <laughs> For all of you who have ever had a gynecological exam, we can attest to the fact that they are incorrect because they don't understand that we get it front and back. <laughs> right? And I tell guys all the time, so you don't want to have a digital rectal exam. Why? Because cause that some woman may want to put her finger up there. Well, at least I have to have a man. I said, well, have you thought about the fact that a lot of women are going to have a size five ring finger? <laughs> if someone at your table doesn't understand, just whisper to them. <laughs> so when you're trying to help your man out, just explain to him that if they would like to change places with us and get up in the lithotomy position, with those metal things they call speculums, <laughs> men with some kind of swab, plus the rectal exam, we'll gladly switch up with them. Make sure you tell them that the next time they're complaining, because I'm like, hey. Ooh.